that so well, but the design plan of the city has the base floor of the MTS six feet below where stormwater would rise to based on FEMA's own evaluation of this area. How can we imagine building anything six feet in the water in a storm situation in the highest storm zone now mapped by FEMA? If we were talking about any other facility doing this, the city would say, are you crazy? We won't let you do that. And yet the city refuses, even though their own engineering reports highlight it, to say that they would change the design because it would raise the cost. Now, that's the point two of what Congresswoman Maloney very excellently explained to us. The cost of this just keeps skyrocketing. The cost of building it, even though it's still likely to collapse into the river during a heavy storm, has skyrocketed. The cost of moving the garbage have skyrocketed. Again, one number that she referenced, that if it costs $75, per ton to move garbage today from our area. Under the new scenario, it would be costing $238 a ton. So we're going to increase the cost of moving the garbage out of Manhattan from $75 to $238 per ton. Well, that also, from a government perspective, is crazy. And if anybody went to the government of New York City and said, I know how to do the same thing you're doing now, but it'll only cost you 238 instead of 75 million. You can get into Jessica Lappin's office to make the argument at the her as a council member or soon the borough president, but that's what the city's trying to get us to believe.